Hello friends, been a while. My name's Jane, assistant coach for the Dallas Fuel. I am here to tell you that the rumors are true. 222, or as it is otherwise referred, Rollwalk, is indeed coming to the Overwatch League for Stage 4. The changes that are primarily going to be happening for Stage 4 is that the games played between professionals are going to have two DPS, two tank slots, and two support slots. This is going to mean that the GOATS composition, the composition that has been present in both ranked and competitive Overwatch for numerous, numerous months now, is going to be done. Of course, that composition involved three tanks and three supports. However, that composition and others like it, which do not follow the 2-2-2 setup, are no longer going to be even able to be run at the professional level. This will lead to a much higher level of play in the Overwatch League because you'll see the players that are in the Overwatch League playing the roles that they played in order to get there in the first place. The thing that I'm looking forward to the most when it comes to the changes that Rolock will have on the professional meta in Overwatch is going to be the return of DPS characters and with them the return of a higher level of mechanical skill. Currently Overwatch, with the 3-3 meta being as dominant as it was, was a lot more strategic and teamwork based, which, although quite admirable for the teams that were able to pull it off, is not always as flashy or fun to watch for the audience and the fans of the Overwatch League. With the return of these compositions, if you are a Widowmaker fan or you like seeing Genji Dragon Blades just completely wipe a team, well you're in luck and you should be looking forward to both Stage 4 as well as the Season Playoffs. When we actually do start with a return and you see these Overwatch League teams starting to play 2-2-2, there's going to be two different kinds of teams. There's going to be the teams that go to the 2-2-2 metas that have been well established and well understood, most notably the Dive metas or the Double Sniper metas, but there's also going to be new compositions which are as of yet undiscovered and the teams that work on innovating those and starting to actually build up a brand new strategy that's never been seen before in Overwatch, well, those teams will definitely have a slower start, but they'll gain momentum as they start to master their craft. As far as how this affects the Dallas Fuel, well, I only see good things on the horizon. When it comes to the flexible and versatile players that we do have in the DPS position, namely Teemo, AKM, and of course Zachary, these players returning to the roles that made them famous is going to be nothing but a good thing for the team as a whole. Not only are the players going to be more mechanically comfortable in the heroes that they're playing, but, well, they're also going to be happier on the roles that they're playing. It's what they like to do, and you're just going to wait and see just how large of an impact that's going to have going into Stage 4 as well as the Season Playoffs.